What's up guys, this is Sonny and today I got here T-Mobile Galaxy S3 and I'm running CM10.1 10, 10 uh, It's running on um, Jellybean 4.2.1 running flawless um, So far I didn't face no problem I used this ROM about 3 days and it's one of the beautiful and smooth, fast so basically, this ROM you could use every day. So if you don't like gel, uh, if you don't like TouchWiz and you want to go for something different like Nexus 4, um, something built from the source, this is the best ROM you could use from Sanojamad uh, 10.1. So definitely, guys, um, I'll show you some. Um, I'll show you some uh, quick options like the camera. It's just like Nexus Nexus 4 camera. See that? Um, what else? The lock screen, just like Nexus 4. See, you can pull that down, and you can have a shortcut like your email or your camera right there, just like Nexus 4. Um, so basically, this this ROM is exact built from uh, Nexus 4 so, uh, ROM. Uh, it's, it's exact build is port from Nexus 4 so if you guys want you know your, your phone uh, I know touchwiz I, I was using touchwiz and uh, for some reason you know I feel like my phone was uh, you know getting slower and stuff I, I don't know I, I'm not I like touchwiz but you know I like I like speed in my phone so this ROM is you know this ROM is all about the speed so I'll show you guys um, I'm on T-Mobile network right now, so 4G network. See, it works flawless. There's there's no no lag at all. You go to desktop version. It's right there. Beautiful, beautiful. So yeah, guys. Um, this is the CM10 10.1 Sanjumat uh, 4.21 Jelly Bean. This is one of the best ROM, and I'll definitely suggest anyone who got a Galaxy S3 and who wants something run flawlessly, something smooth, faster. This is the ROM for you. Now, there's one downside: this thing does not come with Wi-Fi calling. If you need Wi-Fi calling, this is not the ROM for you. If you don't care about Wi-Fi roaming and you have good service in your area, T-Mobile service, then hey, this is the ROM for you. Um, what else can I show you? You can not um, overclock this unless you, you put it like a different kernel but for now it maxed out at um, 15 12 so this is what it comes with but trust me you don't need to overclock this phone this thing is already smooth fast you know uh, what else what else what else what okay lock screen um, uh, you could change the you could put the battery status on the lock screen um, let me show you the status bar. You could change the uh, AM, PM, like I have it here. The battery st status style. You could change like the battery percentage. Um, show the notification count. So when you have the emails and stuff, it will show you the count. Um, what else? The power menu. You guys already know. You could take screenshot. You could jump into your recovery. Um, you could go to your uh, download mode. I don't know. You could have notification light. You could change it. Battery light when you're charging it. Um, system. Let me see what else. Um, that's about it. It doesn't have all these crazy uh, things in it because it, it is built from the source. So it, it doesn't have as much as thing as the stock touch we have. But trust me, this this ROM is way fast way smoother you like browsing you like playing game this is for you you know uh, you can put a custom uh, you could put a, another kernel in it and you go over clock and you know if you, if you like playing games and all this so yeah guys so this is T-Mobile Galaxy S3 and I'm running on a CM10 Sanjuman 4.2.1 Jelly Bean so if you like my video don't forget to click the like button and subscribe thank you